Good morning. My name is Reverend Susan. I'm the lead lab technician or water quality technician at the Regional Service Hub, Western Region. I'd like to welcome you to our lab and also to take you through the process of sampling and water quality testing in our lab. First and foremost, we start our day uh, by receiving samples from our field officers. But before then, we have to sterilize the bottles, sterilize the cooler box, pack uh, bottles, pack the wall packs, and everything that they need uh, before they leave for water sampling. Then after that, we are able to receive in the morning, uh, very early in the morning, as from the uh, earliest 7.30, we are able to receive water samples and we are ready to see uh, how the day goes by. You are most welcome. So it's a couple hours later, we're back in the lab and all of the water samples have been turned in. So we're going to take you through the process of testing that water. Now welcome to the microbiology core department. Now here we do testing where we are able to analyze the samples and detect or find out what type of microorganisms are in our water. So first of all, I'll have to clear the base of my millipore millipo instrument. So I'll clear it with methanol. Methanol is a biocide. What do I mean by a biocide? It kills all living cells. It denatures them. So once I apply methanol on the base, whatever mechanical, whatever biological cell was present on the, base, on the top of the millipore has been cleared or is dead. So after that, then I can take my my forceps, which is clean, then I take my nitrocellulose filter membrane, I will open it, and then you realize this hand was holding this, and mm -hmm. it had methanol, so the, the finger tips are also sanitized with the methanol, and it evaporates very fast, that's one good factor with it, so it's already not here. So once I have opened it, I'll tip it from the top to remove the cover, then I'll pick it with the forceps, without contaminating it, to the top of the Melipo, then I'll return my forceps. This one is already discarded. Then I'll pick my petri dish. It has not been used, still new. But it's not a petri dish, sorry, this is a funnel. So I'll pick my funnel, and then after that, I'll pick the wall pack that has the water that was collected by the field officer and comfortably roll it three times anti clockwise because when we train them, we told them to roll it clockwise three times as they close it. After that, I will look for these strings comfortably, this one and this one, pull them out. After pulling, I'll find which region I can collect the water into the funnel, so this one is good. And you realize I made another corner there, just to make sure that I can pour the water from this end. Because as the field officer was also closing, or trying to prepare this wall pump, they had their hands touching these ends, so the water cannot pass through those ends. Then comfortably do the water, if you look at that funnel, you realize there is a 100 ml mark. There it is. That's 100 ml. The remaining water is disposed of and we dispose the wall part the other end. So these are 100 ml of water that is supposed to be filtered through the, the filter membrane. So my pump is already at a certain pressure. This is a hand pump, so it will work. So when I turn on this knob, the water is already passing through there nitrocellulose filter membrane through this tube into that uh, glass uh, flask. So we will collect the water, it will take roughly 40 seconds, 40 seconds to 1 minute depending on the pressure that is on the hand pump. So let's give it that time. Meanwhile, as it does that, it gives you also an okay to take the M. coli blue uh, food substrate. This is food substrate for the bacteria, it has an indicator inside. So you take it and cover it, and then open that petri dish, and then you 
pad so we inoculate it on the petri dish, which has a media pad. And then uh, after the whole process, the water has already gone through to completion. So then you dispose of the funnel. This one will not be used again. Its work is done. And then uh, you take this uh, forceps or tongs, whatever you call them, and then you pick gently the filter membrane without touching the center. Of course, then we will uncover the correct petri dish labeled correctly. Then apply your filter membrane. So that's done for the sample. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cotton, for having you in our lab today. I would like to take this opportunity again to thank my colleagues, Isaiah, Eva and David, for the good job that you are doing and your support that you are giving me as the head of the department. This lab looks like this because you have given us the support. We thank God because of the vision of our president that we are able to stand in and support him to achieve the goal and the vision he had to support communities to get the clean to get clean water we really appreciate and we pray that god to expand you and to bless you and to give you the desire of your heart may god bless you so much thank you